busy day for me, and I ended up going to the grocery store today. Today was an admin day for me. Um, and uh, the weather started out really nice, but it looks like it's kind of getting some drizzle drazzle here. Some raindrops, but sun is shining. And uh, I went ahead and put on my hoodie here. Just I think I'm going to head out to the gym. But um, before I share with you guys my grocery haul, um, I wanted to address something about body sunscreens because I've getting been getting a fair number of questions about them. Okay, so these are two body sunscreens that I love for myself, okay? The Aveeno Baby Continuous Protection Zinc Oxide 21.8%, the Neutrogena Sheer Zinc Dry Touch Sunscreen. Both of these are really, really heavy, and you will not like these if you put them on your face. These are fantastic for the body. Neutrogena Sheer Zinc has a formulation for the face um, that I have tried a small sample of and, and found to be okay. Many of you don't like it, however, and I can see why, you know, it probably pills up quite a bit under your makeup and that sort of thing. As far as comparison, these have, these are both zinc oxide exclusive physical sunscreens. They offer great protection. Um, they're in a good range here at 50. You remember you want to look for 30 to 50. Uh, zinc oxide provides very good coverage into the UVA and UVB ranges. Um, differences, um, both are, okay, so both are fragrance free, uh, but the main difference is that this one has a Vino Signature Soothing kind of colloidal oatmeal, so I find this one's a little bit more moisturizing than this one if you're going for the body, but both of them are too heavy for the face, okay? across the globe, if you will, to um, Australia, New Zealand. We've got the Key Suns Clear Zinc, um, SPF 50. Now you guys' ranking system uh, may be slightly different, but I believe you determine, it, you determine SPF the same way. I'm not entirely sure what the plus stands for. Um, but this sunscreen is a combination sunscreen. It is both chemical and physical. This has zinc oxide as well as some physical, um, excuse me, as well as some chemical filters that we do not have here in the uh, US. This one probably offers uh, a little bit more robust UVA coverage, if you will, by virtue of those filters. Um, but regardless, they all need to be reapplied uh, because you sweat them off. But look what I just fired up, my beautiful fall leaves candles. You guys watched the Goodwill Challenge yesterday? Look at him, judging there. Um, I haven't had a Bath and Body Works candle in quite some time, so um, doesn't that look stately? And then look how cute my little owl doohickey, look how cute my little owl doohickey is. I just love that thing. So nice with the fall leaves. That is exactly what it smells like in here. Beautiful fall leaves. I really love that fragrance, so yeah. Check out one thing though that I yeah, and you guys know I love Tic Tacs. Look what I got at Kroger. On Ibotta, this was uh, 25 cents cash back for the uh, Tic Tac mixers, Cherry Cola. I love these mixers. It's like a cocktail or something. Yeah, it's like a cocktail or something fun and adult-like. But anyways, let me show you what I got at the grocery store. And so from Costco this week, I of course got my usual bag of spinach. I went ahead and got two bags of Taylor Organic Cauliflower Rice because I'm out of a bag in my freezer and I'm out of one in my fridge. And I also got uh, some of the Taylor Farms uh, celery sticks that I really have been enjoying. And I picked up another container of the Orgain Organic Protein, the peanut butter flavor. I'm really loving this stuff um, and it's delicious. It's still on sale at my Costco for uh, $30 for 27 servings. Um, and then I also picked up a um, bag of bananas because I am close to, end, close to the end of my uh, freezer stash of uh, chopped up bananas. So I went ahead and got another one of those. So yeah, that's everything I got at Costco. Okay, so before I show you guys my my uh, Kroger uh, groceries, I just wanted to update you guys. I went ahead and washed my uh, Costco produce and dried it on some towels. And um, I'm still really loving these uh, Good Cooks uh, BPA-free containers that I got um, the other week from my fridge. Um, I just find they're really efficient and they've just really, I don't know, made my fridge game look a little bit tidier and <laughs> it's, it's just streamlined things quite a bit. Um, the produce does keep quite 
quite fresh in this, um, but I don't think I'm really a good judge of that because I go through produce really quickly and in my entire life, I have never had produce in the refrigerator or produce that I purchased go bad. I, I can say that 100%. I've never had produce go bad. I just eat it too quickly. Um, but yeah, I love these containers and they're working really well for me. All right, and so from Kroger, I got some of the Bosch pears. I've really been enjoying these and they are on sale right now. So I got some of those. A knob of ginger for seasonage. Uh, two little heads of garlic, some zucchini, sweet potato. I got about four here. I kind of want to, I usually buy carrots, but I want to make some uh, sweet potato based things. Um, just kind of change it up and they were on sale. So I got some of those. Uh, and then I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five cucumbers for salads and a white onion. And then I also got some of the uh, Kroger Simple Truth Unsweetened Vanilla Almond Milk. Um, and I also got some of these little tangerine um, doohickeys. What are these called? They have a special name. Mandarins. These are mandarin oranges. I really enjoy these guys. Um, and then from the bulk bin, I got some more of my organic Thompson raisins that I love so much in my oatmeal, as well as some more um, raw organic almonds. And then speaking of oatmeal, I went ahead and picked up a big container of old-fashioned rolled oats from Kroger, two pounds of them. I eat these like a couple of times a day. I go through them pretty quickly, so I love oatmeal so much. Now that we're getting into the fall weather, I'm all about the different kinds of oatmeal, so... Yeah, and then I had a coupon for Mrs. Dash, and this is one of my favorites that I'm out of, the chicken flavor. This incidentally is vegan, but you know, it's apparently good on chicken, but I really love this, this one quite a bit. I also got some more of my Bougie Diamond Long Reach matches. I really love these for lighting my candles a lot. Um, I really have been enjoying that luxury item. And then I was looking for puffed rice cereal to add to like smoothie bowls and stuff like that. Um, and they didn't have any, or I take that back. They had some at Kroger, but it was like $7 for a box of cereal. I'm like, no way. Um, so instead I, I just got some of their rice cakes, which I like. These are just brown rice. Um, so it's the same as that. Um, and they're, they're much, much cheaper. And you can just take a rice cake and like break it up. And there you have it, you know? So I got that. And then I also got some of the Wassa flaxseed crisps. I really enjoy these. They are made with, let's see, they are made with whole grain rye flour, oat flakes, yellow flaxseed, brown flaxseed, sesame seeds, and a little bit of salt. I really enjoy these crumbled up on salads like croutons. And then OMG guys, look at this, look at this. Kroger has its own elite version of the Kopari uh, coconut cleanser, oil cleanser um, that you can get for a, a mean $4. Oh, look at that, okay. Um, if you're missing the tone in that, it's supposed to be sarcasm. <laughs> um, it, if you guys have seen the Kopari oil cleanser on uh, all over YouTube, it's basically just coconut oil. I mean, I smelled the stuff in Sephora and I was like, this is just straight up coconut oil, um, which is all this is, coconut oil. That's everything I got at Kroger. And then, you know, like protein wise, I'm all set with um, my legumes from uh, Vitacost. I've got, um, you know, garbanzo beans that I'll throw in with all this. I've got tofu. So this is my grocery haul. So yeah, that's everything that I got at Kroger and Costco this week. I hope you all enjoyed the grocery haul. Um, speaking of, uh, what, weren't those pumpkins in Kroger adorable? Oh, I'm so into pumpkins. Um, I just, I love all things fall. I mean, what can I say? Does anybody detest fall? I suppose if you live somewhere where it's a miserable season, but uh, here we're just transitioning out of the summer heat. So it's kind of nice that temperatures are cooling down slightly. Um, so I am enjoying that. But candle-wise, guys, in Kroger, 
Let's go back to Tuscany, to Tuscany Candle Company. Okay, I saw they have these beautiful, a beautiful fall lineup of special fall candles and special containers. I had to resist, I had to walk away. I was like, no, you have everything that you need candle-wise for autumn, okay? So just walk away. But if you guys see those in your Kroger, comment below. They had one in there. The one that I wanted was a pear scented one and it smells exactly like the spiced pear one that I got from Bath and Body Works. I was like, mm, no, you already have a, a spiced pear one back away but the packaging on those jars was so beautiful the only thing i don't like with some of the tuscany candle company candles is that they do these like psychedelic wax patterns i'm not so into that you know like they'll make it like this fuchsia orange color and then they'll streak it in with a lime green and i'm sort of like okay that looks like a bad tie-dye t-shirt that jerry garcia would wear um so i'm not so fond of that plus i don't know how um it affects the way the candle burns in terms of consistency i would just guess that the different uh dyes and the waxes would uh, subtly affect the gradation of how the candle you know goes down to the bottom <laughs> But yeah, I uh, I really enjoy that lemon sugar cookie candle. That That's a good one. So, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video today. I'm going to head into the gym. Uh, so I'm going to end it here. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>